Welcome back to Flicks in a Minute. Today we're plunging into the wildly wacky world of Slaughterhouse, a cinematic gem that's as ridiculously genius as it is outright bonkers. At the helm we've got the visionary Matthew Goodhue, with Lisa Ambalavanar leading the charge alongside Sidney Craven, and not to forget, a scene-stealing cameo by the hilariously sharp Tiff Stevenson. This flick flips the horror genre on its head, serving up a killer concept that's literally to die for. Picture this, a world where your deadliest nemesis isn't some unstoppable beast or an alien with a vendetta, but a fluffy, wide-eyed sloth. Yeah, you heard us right, a freaking killer sloth. Slaughterhouse isn't just your run-of-the-mill horror. It's where slow and steady doesn't just win the race. It's a survival strategy for our heroes. Nestled in the heart of what looks like your average sorority house, our tale unravels with college senior Emily, portrayed by Ambalavanar, gunning for the sorority presidency against her nemesis Brianna, played with the right level of stereotypical bitchiness by Craven. In a clever move to clinch votes and explode her social media presence, Emily introduces a new sorority mascot, Alpha, the sloth. But hold up, Alpha's no ordinary sloth. What kicks off as a quirky bid for popularity quickly descends into a whirlwind of comedic yet ghastly events that no one saw coming. As Alpha's true colors shine through, the sorority house morphs into a bona fide slather house, with our gang duking it out for survival against the cuddliest killer around. For the thrill-seekers who got a kick out of Cocaine Bear's unhinged joyride, Slotherhouse dishes out a similar cocktail of madness and mirth. This flick knows it's riding the crazy train and embraces its wild side with open arms, echoing the horror-comedy vibes of its spiritual kin. The moment Alpha goes on an Instagram stalking spree, proving this sloth's not just lethal but also a digital native, is pure gold, showcasing the film's knack for melding terror with laughs. But it's not all laughs and giggles. The film has its letdowns, particularly some of the kills, which are too quick to catch if you blink. Yet these moments are few in a movie that consistently delivers laughs, scares, and outright absurdity. Visually, Slaughterhouse nails the sweet spot between macabre and madcap. The practical effects nod to horror classics without getting too serious, crafting a visual spectacle that's both spooky and spirited. And the tunes... They underscore the sloth's lethargic rampages and the movie's comedic moments with a vibe that swings from ominous to upbeat seamlessly. At its heart, Slaughterhouse is more than a horror comedy. It's a narrative with a pulse. Underneath the gore and guffaws, it critiques our online culture obsession and the social media fame game, a savvy twist that lends the film's zany premise some unexpected depth. A must-see for aficionados of campy horror sprinkled with laughs, Slaughterhouse snags a solid 3 out of 5 stars from us. It's proof positive that the most out there ideas can deliver big, leaving us toggling between OMG did you see that shit and OMG can you believe that shit? So if you're craving a flick that's supposed to be bad but it's actually good, then Slaughterhouse is your ticket. Trust us, it's a riotously frightful escapade you never knew you needed. And always remember, in the realm of horror comedy, it's the slow and steady that slays the scene. That's a wrap on today's review, folks. Caught Slaughterhouse? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Haven't seen it yet? What are you waiting for? And don't forget to check out our other reviews while you're here. That's all for now, movie buffs. Until next time. You wait right there, Tiger. I'll be right back. <laughs>